Hey there YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how I did this Hogwarts mural for our Harry Potter themed nursery. Very Harry Potter. <laughs> so what I did is I went online and I bought a projector on Amazon. It was 60 bucks. Make sure you get a 720p projector at least, native. Don't get a 480p one. There, you save like $10 and it's going to look like crap. Then just get some painter's tape and tape the outline as I did, as good as I could. Try to keep the points pointy. I found this image just by searching Google Images for Hogwarts silhouette. Um, I think I did a pretty good job. Once you get the tape all down, make sure you push down the edges nice and flat. I'm actually going around it with this roller that I have. Um, you can just use your fingers or, you know, whatever. So then just make sure all of your edges are flat down against the wall so you don't get any spots under your nice lines. Then the next part is going to be the real trick. Uh, whenever you're doing lines like this, the first color of paint that you do is going to be the color that's under the tape. And what this will do is prevent any bleeding under the tape of your new color. So when we do gold all the way around this, the gold won't bleed under and look horrible. So this way the blue bleeds under and then you get the nice crisp lines when you put your gold on top of that. You can see the silhouette. Uh, I didn't follow it perfectly because I wanted nice straight lines, but I tried to follow it mostly. Um, it was hard with some little spurs in the silhouette, but I made do. So now we're going to take the blue paint that's on this wall and just paint here along the edges to seal up this line. Don't want to glob it on there, just enough to do under the tape. You're going to want to be able to see your tape lines, so very thin. Just enough to get no bleed. And then once that is all done, I'm going to go ahead and let it dry for about an hour. Not too long because the tape won't come up if you let it sit on the wall for more than a few days, I found out. I still plan to do this all in about four hours. Wait for this to dry and then I'll start blotching on the yellow. We went and got some of these round brushes from Joanne Fabrics. Uh, I didn't see them at Michael's, but you know, it varies. You get them on Amazon too. Uh, they're like twice as expensive. It's only four bucks and it's eight bucks on Amazon. But if you don't want to drive to the store, you can just get it on Amazon. And here are the paints that I got from Target. They were like two bucks a piece, I think. Um, the brand is Mondo Llama acrylic paint. Um, and the gold that we used was Gold Rush with a metallic finish. And for the silver, we used New Nickel with a metallic finish. And so here's just a close up. The gold, then the nickel. The gold looks really good. Nickel, eh. But the gold almost looks like there's foil on the wall. It's really high quality. Then we got ourselves a plate and we're gonna put the paint on there and then just dab the paint and put little circles everywhere and make a cool image. Hopefully like the one that my wife saw on Pinterest. All right, and then we're just dabbing with gold paint over and over again. And we're going to overlap the tape to give it like a cool look. Oh. 
And while you're dabbing, just to get like a feel of what it's going to look like, be sure to turn off the light every now and then and make sure that silhouette's going to come out how you expect it. Alright, and after about an hour of dabbing, it feels like, I think that we're about done. Because that looks pretty magical. We didn't miss any of the parts of the silhouette with paint. We made sure. So, now we peel the tape. I have two spiders. Oh, or no, that's supposed to be a chimney. It's supposed to be a chimney. And this is where we're at after just the gold layer. And then, um, I didn't film the dabbing, but we just dabbed some silver paint randomly. Like, totally randomly. I spun around in circles and then, like, pointed my finger at the wall and that's where my wife dabbed because I didn't want any type of grid forming subconsciously. So, yeah. That's how I did it. Thanks for watching.